Today I am going to be sharing with you 10 practical, useful tips for accurately losing weight fast. Keyword here, accurately. If you want to see how I lose weight really quickly, keep watching. Hey, it's Sunday and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today we are hopefully subscribing to my channel. I mean, it's free. You don't got to pay nothing. So now I have a booger. So now that that's out of the way and you have subscribed, right? We can get into the video. Um, I wanted to make this video to support my other video, which was the one week diet journey video. Um, I got a lot of questions on that video and I wanted to film, but like the weather has been straight garbage in Tokyo. It's like always freaking raining and the lighting sucks. Today was rainy also, I really just didn't care. I was like, screw it, we're gonna film this video. If the lighting sucks, I'm sorry. Shout out to my big sister and T for making my birthday amazing. So I was able to buy a new camera and some lighting equipment so now I can film even if the weather sucks. Let me just start by saying I am in no way a nutritionist, a specialist, a trainer, a professional. I am none of those things. I am just me and I wanted to share with you the things that help me lose weight quickly. First three tips are kind of like a bundle. They just go together but they are the most crucial tips out of all of these tips. So tip number one. I forgot, wait, oh yeah. Tip number one, this is to understand the difference between eating healthy and dieting to lose weight. It took me a really long time to differentiate between the two. For example, like eating avocados is healthy, but it's not good for losing weight fast. They have a lot of calories and a lot of fat. When you understand what type of diet you are trying to do, it makes it a lot more easy and you can get better results. If you just want to eat healthy because you want to feel good or you know maintain a healthy lifestyle, that's great. If you want to lose weight fast, your diet's going to be a lot more strict. If you want to lose weight, you know, slowly over the course of time, there are different things that you can eat. So, tip number 1 is understanding the difference between whatever diet you are trying to do and eating healthy. That brings us to tip number 2. Tip number two is to set a goal. And this goal has a few components in it. Example, first I need to understand why am I doing this? Do I have like an event in a week? Am I going on vacation in a month? Do I just wanna look good? Do I feel bad? Do I need detox? Why are you doing it? And this also kind of contributes to the timeline. After I know why I'm doing it, the next thing I need to know is when I am going to start. After I know when I'm going to start, the next one is not when I'm going to finish, but how much weight do I actually want to lose, which is going to tell me this one. I don't even remember which fingers I had up, I'm sorry. It's already confusing. The next thing is to understand how much weight do you actually want to lose and that will tell you how long you need to do it for, if that makes sense. The accuracy is key here, people, key. I usually diet for one week and I aim to lose anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds. I usually fall short. I usually end up losing around seven pounds. So how do you do that? That is where tip number three comes into play. This next tip is going to involve some math. If I get a number wrong, I'm not surprised, okay? Do it for yourself. I failed math like four times. I don't know what to tell you. You are basically going to go to Google and you can find any calorie calculator basically on any site. All you have to do is plug in your age, gender, um, your height, your weight, 
And then I highly recommend that you put in light exercise to no exercise. That way, if you do have some difficulties dieting during this week or you mess up, uh, your results will be better because again, you aimed high. Even if you do exercise a lot, like don't even count it because then you'll get even better results. Here is where the math comes into play. So you know how many calories you should eat a day and you know how much weight you want to lose. One pound equals 3,500 calories. You need to eat that much less, which will equal losing one pound of weight. There are a lot of factors that go into this, like water weight and muscle mass and how much protein you're intaking. These first three tips will really help you with the accuracy of how much weight you're actually losing. I don't recommend eating less than 1,000 calories per day. Anything lower than that, you might feel kind of bad. Tip number four is to do some research pertaining to calories. I was dieting wrong for so freaking long because I just didn't understand how many calories or how much fat and sugar and all that stuff was in specific foods. For example, I remember I went on a diet and somebody told me avocados were healthy. So I freaking ate so many avocados, but I had no idea how many calories were in avocados. So I ended up eating way more calories per day than I would if I just ate bad food. Just kind of having a basic understanding of how many calories goes into things that you are eating is very important. If you buy something from the store and you don't know how many calories are in it, put it back, put it back. It's not for you. We don't need no surprises. The last thing that you want is to be doing all this work dieting just to like ruin it with something because you didn't know how many calories were in there. Tip number five. Are we on five? We're on five. Tip number five is to clear away all the distractions. Yes, that also includes your friends. Don't hit me up. Don't invite me nowhere. No, I don't want to come to your birthday party. No. That also goes for distractions in the house. So I always clear out all the junk food out of my house before I start a diet. If the food is in the house, I will eat it. I don't care. I'm gonna eat that junk. It also means for me to unfollow all of the mukbang pages on my Instagram account. Yes, your girl loves mukbang. I've been loved it. I always watched it. I just want to eat just like a smorgasbord of unhealthy food. So I have to unfollow them. Which brings me to tip number six, binge on inspiration. So for me, what I like to do um, on Instagram, I usually follow a whole lot of health and fitness pages. I follow girls who are like really in shape and have like the type of figure or body that I'm trying to get. I follow a lot of healthy cooking pages um, because that's what I see usually throughout my day. I also change the display on my phone. So right now it's just like a picture of Positano when I went to Italy. But if I was on a diet, I would change my home screen to like something that would motivate me to stay fit like some pretty girl or salad, whatever works for you. Tip number seven. This one you don't wanna hear, but you're gonna hear it today. It's to drink water. Drink a butt ton of water. I know you're gonna hear this a lot. Everyone always says it, but do you actually do it? Do you drink all the water that you're supposed to drink? Probably not. Drinking water helps in so many freaking ways. It flushes out all the toxins, it makes your skin nice, it gives you energy, it helps you stay full, it helps you eat less, which helps you shrink your stomach. It helps with your digestive system. It just, it's, it's the key guys, it's the key. And if you can drink lemon water, that's even better. Obviously everyone knows lemon water has a whole bunch of healthy benefits to it. I really hate water. I usually have some fresh lemon water that I make every morning. I cut up some lemons, just pour it into this like giant mason jar thing. I love this thing because it's so big and it has a straw. Another tip for drinking more water, at least for me was finding a good cup to drink water out of. I don't know if that matters to you, but generally I don't like to drink water out of glass. I like to drink water out of plastic containers. I don't know why. Amazon has so many cool water containers. I highly recommend going to check out Amazon and finding a cup that inspires you to drink water if that makes any freaking sense. I have two cups of water. 30 minutes before every meal. Middle of the day, I like to have some tea, peppermint tea, a detox tea, 
or green tea and these are all obviously very beneficial for your diet as well so I drink a lot of water and my mama always said if you drink in your water you won't have time to be in other people's business which I don't understand what that means but mama knows best number eight we're almost there guys stay with me here tip number eight is to ingredient prep I know a lot of people really like meal prepping um, but that just isn't something that's my style. I do meal prep sometimes, but rarely. The difference between meal prepping and ingredient prepping is just I prep the ingredients I would use to make a meal so that the cooking process is a lot faster. So a few ingredients that I will prep, for example, would be chickpeas. Um, I just roast those in a pan with some seasonings and that's it. And I usually plop those on top of salads or I smush them on bread or toast. I like to freeze some bananas and mangoes and blueberries and then just plop those in the freezer so that I can have them ready to go when I want to have some smoothies or a smoothie bowl. When you're like on these strict diets, you're gonna have a lot of cravings and the last thing that you want is to eat something bad just because you didn't have anything on hand. Almost there. Tip number nine. This is kind of a silly one, but it actually worked for me at some point in time, which was to buy smaller plates. Buying smaller plates allowed me to put less food on my plate because I was struggling with portion sizes for such a long time. Buying a smaller plate might help you to like regulate the amount of food you eat, resulting in less calories. Okay, finally, guys, we made it to tip number 10. Ta -da 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 -da. Tip number 10. Just be realistic, dude. Example, you are about to like lose your junk and quit the entire diet because you're craving a snicker bar and you really want one and blah blah blah. Just, just eat the snicker bar. Like you want to get great results and you want to get them quickly but you don't want to be unrealistic about it. And when I say this, I don't mean just give in to every craving and every temptation. But if you just know you're like on the edge between just completely quitting or just having a snicker bar or whatever the flip you want, ramen. Just just do it, you know? Also just being realistic about what you can do. For example, I was watching a lot of like health and fitness YouTubers in the beginning and their exercises were just like, girl. I don't even know how they do half of that junk, but it just wasn't for me. It was very unrealistic. Also, a lot of the like healthy food recipes were super unrealistic. They had all these crazy ingredients that were like super overpriced that I can't even find in my grocery store. The flip is tahini. Try to make adjustments and changes within your bubble. If you guys want more information on like dieting, the actual food, or like the workout routines that I do, stuff like that, um, give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope your diet journey goes swell. Good luck. Stay away from the ramen, folks.